make America great again. While this catchy slogan may serve as a poignantly potent political phrase, is it, in practical terms, a pragmatic proposition in the real world today? I submit, if you please, certainly not. Now, there will always be those of us who long for the good old days, either because we weren't there or we've simply forgotten what those days were actually like. Make America great again. Make America great again. Times are steadily changing, and we have adjusted since 1492 with a plum. That's right, here in America, we accept the good with the bad, the happy with sad, the rain with the sun, and the Democratic Republican. Libertarian, Green, and Tea Party's all the same. We may not agree with what you have to say, but we'd let you voice your opinion anyway. Make America great again. Make America great again. Ah, a melting pot of diversity fighting a juggernaut of adversity. To my eye, it's a curious sight to see that rebel flag raised proudly next to our stars and stripes. Because that particular flag represents not only Southern pride, but also anti-American sentiment. It represents the longing for American freedom without the sacrifice of responsibility that accompanies it. Didn't they know freedom ain't free? Form a more perfect union, blah, blah, blah. We got the right to this here land of the free. It's our manifest destiny. How? Make America great again. Make America great again. Man, we are making entirely too much money over this hustle to just let this thing go on principle. Who are you kidding? Through the Middle Passage and Trail of Tears, 10 wars, eight recessions, a Great Depression, women's suffrage, Whites and colored only, South moving north and East moving west, landing on the moon, Lewis and Clark to our national parks. I am American. Protecting our American dream by any means necessary. United we stand, making America great again. 